Daisy baby, what are you sniffing? Where are you taking me? What are you eating? Daisy, what do you think? Daisy, oi, stop eating everything. What do you think? You're outside. You're outside. It's very difficult to keep up with the head bobbing. So <laughs> stop eating everything. Stop eating everything, baby. How are you doing, brave girl? Let's just do a quick outfit of the day because I had to pop to the supermarket yesterday and get some cat food. And I found this in the supermarket in Morrison's. This is nutmeg. I've bought a couple of things from nutmeg recently. And it's this cute little kind of top and bottoms lounging, probably sleepwear set. But look how cute that kind of pink is. It goes with my hair. It goes with my phone as well. Look. Ta-da. <laughs> I'm in the pink, I'm in the pink. So I found this and uh, I just grabbed it off the shelf. Now they did them in those kind of joint sizes. This is a 16 to 18 and, and I got this one because the 20 to 22 looked massive and I'm basically an 18 to 20 in some things. But you know, I'm not wearing this out and about. I'm quite happy with how it looks. I feel so super cute in it and when I tried it on and showed the hubby he was like oh that's very cute so feeling very cute Kathy left a comment on my what fits in my Prada crystal re-edition uh, video asking if the mini pochette accessoire fits in it. Now this is something that I actually wanted to do in the video but uh, for some reason completely forgot because this is something that I test out pretty much all of my bags with. So we're going to have a look now. That's got a few bits and pieces in there. It's not fully stuffed. Ah yes look it fits fine. It doesn't even come close to the top. It probably comes to the top of the Prada plaque on the outside and I mean it's quite dark in there but I can drop my phone in as well. What else have I got? Let's see if these fit in there as well. I've got my salon card holder. I've got my little dress up your purse dream pouch. That stands up there no problem and my clay. Let's put that on the other side of my frame. That makes a little bit more sense. There we go. And uh, my mask. Okay, so that might be... Let's try and zip that up. I'm resting you on my belly. Yeah, no problem. I think you can see in the corners there yeah, it's still got some space because it is quite a big thing to put in here. But yeah, absolutely no problem. It fits. So that is a bonus what fits in the Prada Crystal Re-Edition 2000. Kathy, now you know.
This used to be my favourite peanut butter. I don't know if I can eat it now that Winnie's introduced me to that whipped. I can't remember the name of it. I finished it. The almighty Marmite. Yummy, yummy, yummy. sent to the till because he forgot to scan one of the cat sands. I don't know how he managed to miss that. I've got two and they're blowing in all. Look. I've got two of them. He managed to only scan one of them. Wow. Right. Time to get that lot in there. That's everything. Ooh. Hi guys. I completely forgot when I got home from Costco to do a put away with me and uh, take you through some of the things that I had bought um, and that is uh, because it was quite late in the day and I had to sort out some laundry, cook dinner, do all of that kind of stuff and uh, I just completely slipped my mind so I'm very very sorry. Now I didn't buy hubby the litre of Jack Daniels because he already has a litre of Jack Daniels in reserve from the last Costco trip um, but I thought I would get him those yucky Twinkies that he loves so much. I did resist the Jaffa Cakes for myself, Winnie, you should be proud of me. Everyone frankly should be proud of me but I'm not making any promises for the next trip. <laughs> so after I did all of that I painted my nails so I have lovely pink nails again and today I have got, um, oh I did notice that I'd managed to delete a file <laughs> and um, it's really really annoyed me because not only was it the momentous occasion of me saying to you guys I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna snip the labels off this Prada Crystal <laughs> re-edition 2000 and we're going to do it together and I don't know what happened. It's not on my memory card. It's no, I've got the file before it, the file after it. I have no idea what happened. I can only assume that I did a boo-boo and I managed to delete it myself. I have no idea what happened. So it wasn't just that I was showing you um, the, the fresh moisturizer, which I have since broken into, and my replacement um, NARS lip glow, not NARS lip glow, NARS after glow in uh, because I was running low and uh, and I showed you all of this kind of stuff and I asked you in that clip do you want to see some sort of skincare routine from me I am 46 I get occasional spotty breakouts I'm quite red faced I don't go completely nuts with crazy expensive crazy complicated skin rare skincare routines but I thought maybe you'd be interested to see what I do now to try and keep wrinkles at bay and all of that kind of stuff anyway leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know if you do want to see that 
I'm probably going to film it anyway because I'm actually quite interested myself to see how it turns out and I've got some new toys to play with so. So I've got a video I need to record a bit later on um, so I'm going to do that and get editing this vlog for you and uh, then I've got a very exciting trip out later which I may or may not share with you. It depends what, <laughs> it depends how I'm feeling. Let's just put it that way. But for now, it's bedclothes change day. I like bedclothes change day because I love fresh sheets. I may have mentioned this before, but I am always sad to change out of this bed spread because this is my favorite one. I love, I love the leaves on it. Um, I love the, these didn't come as a set, but I love this sort of, pinky, slightly plaster pinky kind of sheets underneath. So um, yeah, let's get that done. I wonder how long Lily, Lily is here looking very beautiful. Hello beautiful Lily. Are you going to stick around for the whole thing? Because you don't like it when I fluff the duvet, do you? But you like spending time under the duvet. You're looking to see if you can get under the duvet right now, aren't you? I can see you. I can see it in your little furry face. You beautiful girl. Yes, she was a beautiful baby. Oh, look at you. Look at the size of you. You're absolutely massive, aren't you? Oh, what a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. Are you going to purr? Give us a purr. Right, well the bed clothes are changed and Daisy's moved in already, haven't you Daisy? Yes. Oh, yummy, yummy. We love it, don't we Daisy? We love fresh sheets, don't we? Oh. How pretty are you? So, um, I can't remember the name of... Oh, look at you, baby. I know. I know. Can't remember the name off the top of my head of the designer for these sheets, um, but I will pop it up on the screen. I have had this set for a very, very long time, and we definitely could do with replacing some of our bedding. Um, and also, I've given up on <laughs> ironing sheets. I was doing it for a while, but to be honest, life is too short. While I love that crease-free look, it's going to get crumpled straight away anyway, especially with these two pouncing around, jumping on it and rolling around and doing all of those shenanigans. So let me know, do any of you iron your sheets or do you subscribe to the Life is Too Short? Oh, you're so parry. I think you have actually just left a little smear print on the lens there. Oh my god, you're cute. Oh, Daisy, I'm trying to focus on you. Oh, yes, baby. Are you going to have a little wash now? I'm going to go and have a shower. Are you going to have a little wash? Hmm? Mm -hmm. How beautiful are you? Getting a lot of kitten action this morning. Lovely. I almost forgot to show you. Look at this. This arrived in the post. This is exciting. This is Show Guide by Gucci. And it's just like a little showcase of some of the beloved range. Gucci does the uh, beloved tag on their website. So you can go and look at, I don't know, particular things that they're happy about, I guess. So this is like a little show guide. And it is, um, you yeah, know, some celebs speaking to James Corden. So it's cute. It's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun. I wasn't expecting to get anything like this in the post. Um, very cute fun, a bit tongue in cheek, a bit silly, pretendy interviews, that kind of thing. But the thing that this this is <laughs> the thing that really excited me the most is <gasps> it came with some stickers and I absolutely love stickers because really I'm five and a half years old 
Um, I don't tend to stick the stickers onto anything because then I think, well I've used them now and they're gone and I can't do anything about it. I have got this box file full of receipts and things for my luxury pieces. So I was thinking about decorating this with lots of stickers. I've got some Louis stickers and I've got a Mulberry sticker and all sorts of things. So I was thinking about doing that, but then I thought, what if I don't keep this box file? What if I move all the stuff out into something else and then all the stickers have gone? Can you see what my dilemma is with stickers? I love them. I just don't want to stick them to anything. Uh, I've just found myself in a situation that I feel is absurd and of course I wanted to share that with you. So this is going in my next vlog. I have just filmed a video. See, I've got my full... Uh, Gwenny's filming a video for her YouTube channel makeup set up on. Um, I've got my jewellery on and uh, and as soon as I packed the lights away and the camera away I had to hop in the car and come and get my smear test. So um, I find this slightly absurd. Okay, I'll be wearing my mask so they won't see the lippy but they're definitely going to be able to see the rest of the makeup and uh, and it just made me laugh. It made me feel like... Oh, yeah, I get out so little now that when I go for my smear test, I, uh, I dress up for <laughs> it. Anyway, um, I found it amusing. I hope you do too. Uh, your smear test is important, kids. Go and get it done if you are due to have it done. Um, I've actually put mine off for a couple of months because of the whole thing in the world and the everything. Um, and I feel a lot more comfortable coming in now to get it done. So I'm about to go in and get it done. I thought it was funny. I thought I would share it with you. TMI, you might say. No such thing on this channel. All done. See if I smeared my lipstick. Hmm, not too bad. Um, nurse was fab. Um, a lot of fun, obviously not a great, you know, not something that you'd look forward to, but uh, yeah, she made it quite nice and easy and uh, she just had a fresh tattoo done, so we talked about tattoos for a bit. She admired mine while I was on the, on the table, <laughs> which, which seemed strange, um, but yeah, all done, boff, um, don't forget to get your smear done, yeah. That's your public service announcement from Gwenny. <laughs> okay, I need a drink after that. I've got some ice and a slice of lamb in here because I'm not having gin and tonic. You can see I have raided Hubby's tiny Coke stash because I'm going to have a glass of lamb's spiced rum. Look at this beautiful label on it. Come on, focus. Yes, look at that beautiful label on it. A bit of a spiced rum in there, free pouring, yes. Um, free, free pouring. Okay, let's call that enough. I've got quite a lot of ice in there as well. Uh, see if the Coke will fit in there with all that lovely ice. Um, yes, I have been enjoying, oh, perfect. A spiced rum and coke. Can only have one or two at a time because the coke makes me go a bit wobbly. Um, and I'm going to make hubby his standard Jack and Coke. Why not? And then we're going to sort out some food. Yes, beautiful. And we're going to sort out some food and um, snuggle down with the cats, I think, for the evening. Cheers. See you for the next one.